All right. So there are a lot, some safety things to keep in mind when working with liquid nitrogen. First, liquid nitrogen is approximately negative 196 degrees Celsius, which is cold enough to give you a very severe burn. Additionally, as nitrogen sublimates into the atmosphere, it expands to 700 times its current volume, meaning that it can fill 24 square feet with one liter. So it is very important to use liquid nitrogen in a well-ventilated area, such as the Catmull Gallery. Yes. Okay, there are some safety equipment that is required to, for liquid nitrogen use. And these safety equipments may include, but are not limited to, gloves that are rated for very cold temperatures, safety goggles, alternatively a face shield can be used, a lab coat or chemical splash apron, and closed-toed shoes with long pants. Excellent, our volunteer is all ready to go. All right, so we will now show you how to make liquid nitrogen ice cream using the dip and dots method. All right, so first, our lovely assistant, Katie, will pour us some liquid nitrogen. It's important to store liquid nitrogen in the proper containers. Use Dewar flasks or other rated equipment for long-term storage. For pouring it out, styrofoam will work just fine. So we're gonna pour out our liquid nitrogen into the bucket, that's good. Awesome. All right, and make sure you recap your liquid nitrogen container. All right, and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our syringe we're gonna take our ice cream batter and we're gonna suck some batter up into our syringe. Oh dear. You can do it. <laughs> Look at Katie following all the good safety procedures. Uh, all right, yep, that's good. All right, now you're gonna slowly drop the batter into the liquid nitrogen. As it drops, it freezes and the liquid nitrogen boils off. All right, so once you have your ice cream in, we're gonna use a metal slotted spoon to pull out our liquid nitrogen dipping dots. As you can see, they're boiling away there. Just stick it in. They don't really need to be in for a long time. They freeze pretty quickly, as you can tell. So yep, there's some liquid nitrogen dipping dots. All right, after the ice cream has been frozen in the liquid nitrogen, you should let it rest at least a minute before eating.